Good morning, Aries. Hello, everybody. I have Tarot the Mystical Moments for the main deck. I have Golden Art Nouveau Tarot for the clarifying deck, and the links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. Virgo, Knight of Pentacles energy coming in is methodical, long-lasting type of energy. Somebody's not going anywhere. This is like, it's interesting because Virgo energy is immutable energy, but it feels more like a fixed energy because maybe all our signs, they're rooted, rooted in the ground. Even like Virgo and Capricorn, it, it, once they have their mindset, it's a hard mind to change. Seven of Wands fighting for this, ready to do this. I feel like you're worth fighting for. Seven of Wands, Seven of Cups, Star Reverse. Yeah. All right. Let's see what's going on here, Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Aries. If you are an Aries, know an Aries. Feels like being an Aries. Aries, I'm glad you're here. You could be an Aries and this resonates. You could be dealing with an Aries. It could resonate as the main story. An Aries can be the cross watcher. This reading could be about an Aries or for an Aries. Take it as it resonates. Collect the messages from my lovely Aries. All right, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. What is the story today for Aries? What? There it is. Look at the Emperor. Female King of Pentacles reverse is what this fell out of. Capricorn, Two of Pentacles reverse. Aries, Aries, Aries. King of Pentacles reverse. I'll be honest. When I see a King of Pentacles reverse here, the female, you got Scorpio's death card. You got the King of Wands reverse there and a Temperance reverse. It took you a while to get standing up again and strong and fighting, right? I feel like you have an offer and it feels like another person coming in. And it's like, I like spending time with them, but I don't necessarily want to share my house with them. Kind of energy. feels like, you know what I mean? I feel like you're in a place of strength and somebody feels like, almost like, I keep getting need you. They need you. They need you. And you're like, I want you on my time or on certain days or something. What's influencing the Two of Pentacles reverse, Capricorn energy? What's influencing the Two of Pentacles reverse? Yeah, Four of Cups reverse. Wow. Cancer energy. Two queens here. Four of Cups reverse is not feeling lonely. You might be alone, but you're not lonely. And a Two of Pentacles reverse is it, it is a it is a control card. I'll be honest. It's not the fool. It's controlling things. What's the reason for the reading? The fool. I just said it's not the fool. You got the fool reverse. I feel like somebody wants to maybe make you an offer and you're not, you, I just feel like you want to stay free. You know what I mean? Look at that. Masculine king of swords, female king of swords reverse. But that's where this fell out. Seven of wands reverse and the nine of wands. I feel like this is you because you got a seven of wands here. Seven of wands reverse is not ready for wanting love. He's got love tattooed on his chest, but he's good where he's at. He, I feel like you're kind of blocking out, but somebody's still holding on to hope back here that they can work you down. What is on Aries' mind? What is on the Aries' mind? What is on Aries' mind? Yeah, Eight of Swords. You know what I kept thinking is you don't want to be in a cage. And maybe that's how some of you view love or relationships like that is there was a time where you were with somebody and you gave so much of yourself up and it maybe took a hard time to get you back. But an eight of swords tells me you've outgrown this cage, but I almost get because it's of the mind and swords are of the mind. That's how maybe an Aries thinks of this. There's resistance to go into some type of relationship here. Why the Eight of Swords on your mind? Yep, Hermit Reverse, Virgo. I feel like somebody, Hermit Reverse is somebody coming to you because they have something to say. I'm feeling that. And it puts you in a position of, I don't want to lose them, but I can't give them exactly what they need, what they feel they need. And the fact that they think they need me makes me feel very suffocated. I feel like somebody is... It's almost, why am I getting an obsessive feeling here? What's in the near future? What's in the near future for Aries? Knight of Cups. Why do I get playing the field? Knight of Cups is a free agent. I'm, I'm getting that. It's a romantic. It's fun. It's, it's not a king of cups. I feel like that's where you are. Knight of Cups, near future. 
Hangman Reverse. Page of Cups. You have you have another person you're talking to. Seven of Cups. Ace of Wands Reverse. Ace of Wands Reverse feels limerent to me. I, I kind of get in a limerence kind of situation going on. See how this Ace of Wands is coming out of a book? I feel I, I'm getting, I'm not seeing the double card. Why am I getting obsessive energy here? And I think you're picking it up, which is why you are very resistant to this person's energy. So much so you're trying to block it out back here. And it's like, it's not that they don't take the hint. It's because they feel like they need you. And a hermit reverse is when a, when a hermit's upright, it, it's a, it could be alone. It's, it's, it's isolating. I don't, f that's the thing. I feel like an Aries might be single, but I don't feel like you're lonely. I feel like you might even be seeing people or open to it. You're just not necessarily want to be trapped within a relationship. And it's going to take a special type of energy to make it not feel entrapment. But I'm telling you, you got somebody who is, look at this, seven of wands, seven of cups. Somebody's trying to find a way to get you see. But star reverse tells me there is no hope. You got the hangman reverse telling me you, your art, two hangman reverses is saying I made up my mind. Two of pentacles here and nine of wands reverse is two of pentacles is going with the flow. I feel like you want to be in the full energy without this person. I think you just want to be single, dating, having fun with friends, not being attached to anyone. And you got somebody who's just, they want you, you know, it's such a clear, clear storyline. And again, it's not that they can't take no for an answer. They just won't. They're, it's like their, their heart will not allow it to penetrate. So they see things, what they want to see to keep this viable. What's the two of pentacles reverse center of the reading? Oh my gosh, four of wands. And there you are upright. I, I, I don't even know what to say. High priestess reverse and the eight of wands. They feel like if you would just hear them out, high priestess reverse, they, and that's cancer energy and a four of cups reverse. Why is there two lonely cards in reverse? Why is somebody feeling like maybe they, when they met you, they, they felt like because you're single and, and again, I want to reiterate, I don't think an Aries will just, is thinking of being alone for the rest of their life. They're just waiting for the right one. I kind of feel like you could have been friends with somebody and they caught some serious feelings. Maybe you went on a dating app. You went on a few dates and somebody's just not taking the hint or something. What's the four of cups reverse influence in energy? You got away from them. Four of cups reverse. Ah, five of wands reverse. I feel like you kind of ducked out. You said it. Maybe you sent a text. I don't know. Five of wands reverse is I don't want to fight, but it's just I don't feel like you're on the same page here full reverse reason for the reading look at that two of pentacles reverse in this line two of pentacles upright remember when it fell out was over here i that's interesting because this two of pentacles reverse i said it's not the fool and then the fool came out reverse and now the two of pentacles is reverse you're you're not i feel like you don't want to get to this level aries you like being your queen of oneself but so, you you can wield a sword if you have to I feel, look at that, nine of wands reverse and a page of wands reverse. Somebody feels like they need you. Now, when you get into this type of energy, and I'm not a doctor and I really don't like to play one on YouTube, but, and I'm sure a therapist can break this down very, very well. I feel like somebody transferred their attachment needs. Like maybe they lost somebody big in their family, like important to them. Maybe they went through a divorce or a breakup. And instead of dealing with that pain, you happen to be a very charming, charismatic energy, and this person transferred their pain onto you and turned it into like it's a solve, it's it's gonna solve all their problems. I don't know, that got deep. I don't know why it got so deep, but that's what I'm feeling. And you're like, what happened? Nine of wands upright, nine of wands, seven of wands reverse in the past. 
And again, see this pain? She's holding on to this flower right here, but this is a person who's been in pain. Where was that ace? Here's the ace of wands. See this flower? You're not the solution to this person's problem, but they think you might be. Nine of wands, it's upright, sorry. All right, what's this nine of wands and the seven of wands reverse? I feel like you're doing your best to not engage, but this person's holding on. Nine of wands, seven of wands reverse. Yeah, temperance, re somebody's not in a good place and I do feel like there was a major loss in their life. And you just seem to be the answer to their, it feels like they could focus on you rather than deal with the loss. Because maybe you made them happy somehow, some way. Maybe you worked with them or made them smile. Maybe you, you know, went out as friends, something, and they caught some serious feelings. Eight of swords, hermit reverse on your mind. Nine of swords. Why do you know? Do you get the stalky feeling? Is that why I'm picking it up? Because that nine of swords and the eight of swords and the hermit reverse, it's like as soon as you put something online, they're the first to comment. You you leave your house, they're like, where are you going? Do they have your location services? What is going on? Nine of swords is like, listen, Tara lady, I don't know what to do. And you're not offering me any help. You're just telling me what I already know. This person's stuck. I don't know if there's anything you can do, to be honest. Um, Knight of cups, hangman reverse, both Pisces. Five of Pentacles reverse is you're in a good place. You want them to be in a good place, but you, I feel like you just want to be able to live your life. I feel like you feel like you're watched. I feel like you're watched. Ace of Wands reverse in the Seven of Cups in the near future. And the Hierophant. Ace of Wands. I'm telling you, there's some strong limerence here. There's the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles reverse and the two of swords. I feel like you're trying. You're trying not to go there and be mean, but I when an Aries feels like their space is invaded and you can't live your life and if you put something out online, they're the first to comment, sending the wrong signals to other people. I think it's going to start to piss you off. And you don't want to have to be that because you you're not in the business of hurting people's feelings, but at the same time, what else are you going to do? I honestly feel like there might be even somebody you like talking to already. I'm getting that vibe with the Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups and the Hangman Reverse and the Five of Pentacles Reverse. But this is a very, you got an insistent and incessant energy here. Five of Swords Reverse and the Knight of Swords. I think you're going to communicate very strongly. You got a Queen of Swords reason for the reading, a Knight of Swords and a Five of Swords Reverse as saying, I, I can't you know, please don't contact me. That's what it feels like. I don't know, Aries, good luck with this. I, I'm just here to read the cards and it's not like a lifetime reading, but it feels like a lifetime movie, if you know what I mean. This be, be, might want to be a little careful. Queen of Wands reverse and the star reverse. It's like, why does this person feel like they need you? Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups and the Moon. Yeah, they're not in a good place. They're still not in a good place, but they just feel like they could be in that sun if they had you by their side. So I don't know. Good luck with this um, for whoever who it's for. It feels like a personal reading out there cannot possibly be a lot of areas dealing with a, some type of stalker situation. I don't actually get these readings very often, but when I do, they surprise me at the level of intensity going on. But all right, Aries, good luck. Have a great rest of your week and take care.